Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. Yes, we are a little bit behind, but here we are with the middle of the month love readings for the month of June 2024. We're going to get right to it. We're going to begin here with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as it is Gemini season. For those of you guys experiencing a return of the sun, brightest of blessings to all of you, and let's get it going. Let's see what you guys can expect for new love as well as old flame. Let's get into it. If you guys are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. And if you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, any type of personal readings or personal spell work, you can find all of those on the description link below, as well as our manifestation books and our manifestation journals. You guys can find all of that on there. All right, here we go. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my Senate master, spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to open up as a vessel of communication. Allow me to see here since we don't receive the messages here for all of my viewers. Let's get very clear and concise messages. We're going to begin here with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what they can expect for the remainder of June 2024 in regards to love and romance. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with my Geminis. All right, here we go, Gemini. In regards to new love, we're starting off here with the world card. How they feel about you. Nine of, oof, Gemini. Okay, <laughs> This is um, very interesting. Okay, so when we're dealing with new love in regards to how they see you, they see you as the end all be all. For some of you guys, you could have recently had this connection, especially if this person is foreign, meaning that they are not either from the same place that you're from or perhaps they have a different ethnicity or perhaps they are completely the opposite of what you're used to. However, what Spirit is saying is that you are elevating you are stepping into your power, Gemini. There is a lot of closing of cycles. For some of you guys, you could be experiencing even a feeling like those of you guys, especially that have been single for quite a while, a feeling of getting to the point of being ready to actually open up or give yourself the opportunity to find love. The reason for this is because you're being heightened. We have a lot of planets uh, right now activating Gemini. So again, it is about power. It's about believing what you deserve and not settling for anything less, Gemini. Now, in regards to how they feel about your nine of cups, this is emotional fulfillment. This is happiness. This is the end all be all. Why do we say this? We have the world and the 10 of pentacles. So when it comes to romance, when it comes to connecting, you have definitely found the person that's right for you. The person that's guiding you towards your path, the path that you should be on. For some of you guys, this is coming to you after a conclusion or an ending cycle. For some of you guys, this could be as drastic as ending or getting through some type of separation, some type of divorce. Um, for others of you, it's coming out of a very long-term relationship and almost kind of trying to go through the healing phase. Although I do see that there's a conclusion of that, meaning that there was something that was holding you back in connection to something from the past or someone from the past. But I see you elevating. I see you stepping into your power, like I said. And more than anything, you're closing this cycle. So there is definitely a new beginning that is unfolding for you, Gemini. The month of June and July are going to be very prosperous when it comes to love and romance. For some of you guys, like I said, it's connecting with someone that is completely the opposite of what you've, you're used to or what you're, you've been accustomed to. If you're currently dealing with someone that recently came into your life, and when I say recently, could been you've been dealing with them for about three months or probably more um, up to three months or recent, okay? And what they're showing me here is that this person is really the, the person that's meant to be in your life, that is meant to be in your path at this point in time. So fully embrace this. Future actions, Ten of Pentacles, they're wanting commitment. They're wanting something serious. They're wanting monogamy here. So again, um, give yourself this opportunity. And for those of you guys that are single out there, you're not going to be single for very long, but it's time for you guys to be completely open to the abundance of love all around you. Okay. I need you guys to get out of the house. I need you guys to be more open, put yourself out there. Now is the time to do so. Okay. 
All right, Gemini, moving on here. Let's see, in regards to old love or old flame, we have the Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. So in regards to how they feel about you, they know that they dropped the ball with you, right? Queen of Pentacles is the almost the, the energy of motherly. You were nurturing, you were caring, you were very practical. Uh, for some of you guys, you went above and beyond for this person, and they're very self-aware of that. However, in why they feel this way about you, <clears throat> King of Swords, there was a walking away from the situation or the ending or the conclusion of this connection because they were guarded. They were extremely guarded. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone that was maybe emotionally invested somewhere else or maybe they were in a relationship for others of you it could have been a person that just hadn't gotten over the person from their past so it's almost like you came into their life right where there could have been a temporary separation or some type of you know time lapse um when you came into their life but they were quick to go back to the past so again this type of energy it it in regards to, you know, future actions, I don't see them coming towards you. I see like they've moved on, Gemini. So if you guys were hoping or wanting for that ex to reach out or that ex to come back around, I see them, again, still lingering in past energy. So I feel like if this connection or relationship, you know, came to a halt, the probability of them dealing with the person from their past is very, very high right here. It's almost like, again, like I said, you came into their life probably when they were in fact single, but it was almost like there was some type of separation that was happening, but they were still hoping or wanting to fix it or to have some type of reconnection. And that's exactly what happened. And that's the reason why they were so quick to walk away from this connection. So my advice to you, Geminis, is keep it moving. This person is not for you, my loves. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame for Cancer. Let's see what's going on in their love department. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love, give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. How are you guys doing? Cancers, how are you doing? How is... How are the planets working out for you right now? A lot of the cardinal signs are really going through it. But this is for expansion, for growth. We need that push. We need to continue expanding and growing, right? All right. Here we go, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you guys in regards to love and romance. Here we go. All right, in regards to new love, you have the seven of pentacles, sorry, the seven of cups, the full card, and the four of swords. So I see that there was some type of <clears throat> some type of ghosting for some of you guys. You could be dealing with someone that is not necessarily very focused on you right now. And the reason for this cancer is because I feel like this person has multiple options. Or they are playing the field. They are not looking for any type of commitment. They're not ready for any type of commitment. Um, initially, I feel like there was a massive attraction. And the reason for this is there is a lot of physical connection here. However, you're dealing with a person that is very immature. And someone that is not most definitely not looking for any type of commitment or any type of relationship. It's almost like they come in and they go out as quickly. Um, so what they're showing me here in regards to how they see you, they see you as an option, um, how they feel with the full card. They're just about the excitement and the chase, uh, future actions. I don't see them communicating or moving forward. So my advice cancer is keep it pushing. Do not waste your time. Don't sit there and try to figure out someone, um, when they really haven't given you much to figure out. And what I mean by that is it's almost giving me the energy of someone that showed you or presented themselves as a facade. Uh, not someone who is authentic or genuine. So again, do not fall for the ideas of people. Fall for who they show you they are. And if they are inconsistent, my loves, they are inconsistent, okay? All right, moving on to Old Flame, Cancer. We have the Tower, 
the queen of cups and the empress card wow okay there's going to be some type of revelation happening for some of you cancers out there especially those of you guys that have been hoping or wanting to reconnect with this person they are going through a massive transformation this is plutonian energy scorpio energy so there was some type of death or some type of transformation that they recently went through with the queen of cups being in the position of how they feel about you the, going through this is what's made them feel or understand the love that they have for you <clears throat> even if it was toxic or even if it was not ideal it's almost like them realizing that they could have done much better or they could have done better by you um and it's realizing that you are what they've always hoped or what they always wanted in a partner i do see them coming back around and you will be hearing from them either by the end of this month or the beginning of july i do see them coming back around and trying to really i see an apology coming through for some of you guys do not be surprised you guys this could even be it's giving me almost like a type a time lapse between year and a half to two years so if you've been broken up for two years as an example and you're still hoping or wanting or even wanting to know maybe not wanting to deal with them, but wanting to know what happened or like some type of explanation, some type of closure. I feel like you guys are definitely going to be getting that and probably a little bit more than you hoped for because I do see them wanting to confess or wanting to profess their love to you. Um, and they're giving me, like I said, a time lapse between two years to a year and a half. Uh, for others of you, those of you guys that have broken up recently, they are going through some type of transformation that is for sure and you will be hearing from them and i feel like them coming towards you is going to be more on an authentic level and again it's like almost an aha moment of realizing you know what cancer is the person i love they are the person i want um so i feel like they're going to not only try to like mend the fences with you but they're actually trying to come back into your life so the ball will be in your court cancer all right, my loves, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like the videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here we go. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with Leo's. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of June 2024. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Oh, okay. One more shuffle. Let's see what's going on with Leo. Okay, there is a lot of resistance that I'm already feeling. Leo, I'm not sure what's going on with you guys, but I feel like for some of you guys, it's almost like maybe getting what you hoped for, but you're realizing it's not necessarily what you wanted or what you thought you wanted. And it's okay. OK, it's OK to change our mind. It's OK to think you want something um, and it's OK to change your mind. OK, because in the shuffling, I'm already experiencing resistance and it is a love reading. So you're fighting something or you're fighting a connection or you're fighting almost the manifestation of something that you're kind of realizing mm, it's not really what I thought it was going to be. Some type of disillusionment here. But I feel like you got what you were asking for. Or you got what you were wanting. Or. And it's like realizing. I don't know. I don't know if it's really. You know. Was it a hype? Was it all in my mind? Type of energy. All right. Here we go. We have the moon card. <laughs> we have the nine of wands. And the four. Sorry. The five of cups. Okay. So yeah. Definitely. Um. What they're showing me here in regards to new love, Leo, is with the moon, they see you very unpredictable. They they feel like there is a lot of uncertainty. And I feel like the uncertainty is coming from your from your side, Leo. Um, now, it is a general reading for some of you guys. You could be dealing with someone that you feel like they're very unpredictable, like you're not sure what it is that they want. Um but I highly feel like it's it's you, Leo, that you're experiencing this. You're the one that's like, ah, you know, the connection was going good. But now I feel like, am I settling? Or 
I got the person or, you know, I'm getting the treatment I wanted, but I'm not sure if I want it now type of energy in regards to how they feel about you. Nine of Wands, they're resisting um, getting emotionally invested because there is a lot of uncertainty connected to this connection, Leo. Um, for some of you guys, it could be fear. Their future actions, I don't see them taking any future actions. I don't see them like really continuing the connection or even continuing, you know, the the putting of the effort more than anything. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is how they're feeling. And the five of cups is disappointment. It is mourning the loss of a connection or a connection that they thought was unfolding. Now, keep in mind, it is a general reading. Like I said, this could be you or this could be them. But they are showing me here that there is uncertainty because it's almost like you were focused or determined, right, to 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 have this type of connection now that you're experiencing, or it could have been for some of you guys that you were really fixating on working something out with a specific person. And now you're realizing you know what? I'm putting too much effort. You know what? They're expecting too much from me. Or I'm pouring so much into this cup and I'm leaving myself literally empty. So it's almost like an inconvenience or a feeling of, it's almost an awareness because you're realizing, I don't want this anymore. Um, and, and it's it's very much giving me the energy of like being confused or trying to like force yourself maybe to keep dealing with this connection. But strongly what I'm feeling here is what Spirit is saying is listen to your intuition, Leo. If it doesn't feel right to you, it's not right. You know, it's kind of like that situation where I tell my clients sometimes we think in our head that we want a specific person, not a specific person, but to be treated a specific way. And then you meet someone that, you know, meets that criteria and that checks all the boxes. But you realize that it's not as intense or it's not as passionate as you would hope. And when there is no passion and no intensity, especially for fire signs, it kind of makes you rethink, you know, do I really want this? And that's what I'm seeing here. So Again, for a lot of you guys, it could be vice versa. It could be you feeling this way or it could be them feeling that way. However, I don't see movement or progress in the future. All right, let's look at your past person or person from your past. You have the five of wands here, the nine of cups and the sun card. Um, how they feel about you, five of wands, they're still holding on to something. They're still, I feel like, they're definitely going to be reaching out, Leo. They're definitely going to be coming back around and trying to come back into your life. But what I'm seeing here is for, for a lot of them, the reason why they're coming back, I feel like it's because of the fear of losing you, not because I'm losing Leo, but more so because they're seeing that you're becoming either more proactive in your dating life or they're realizing that you have options. Because it's almost like they're going to be trying to literally fight for your attention. And this is being this is stemming from ego and pride. And it's giving me very much like Leo belongs to me. Leo was mine. Like if I have them once, I, I can do what I have to do to gain their trust or come back and for them to allow me to come back into their life. And I feel like it has more to do of, I don't want to necessarily say like, objectifying you but it's almost like they're seeing that you have options or that people are really being drawn towards you and the fact that the fact that they're no longer in your life it's kind of like they're trying to come back around because they fear that they're losing you but they fear like they're losing you because there's options here so are they being authentic in this I do see that they are however why does a person that genuinely cares for you or genuinely loves you, why do they have to wait to see someone else want you for them to realize that you should have been the first choice? Do you get what I'm saying? Um, I do see them being honest and genuine in their pursuit for you, but it's like I said, 
why does a person have to sit there and wait for you to or for them to realize that other people want you and then that's when they're all in do you get what i'm saying it's um very much giving me like i had them now i want them because someone else wants you um and if that's the vibe and that's what you're experiencing my advice is don't make it easy even if you plan on going back with them or you plan on working it out I'm not going to sit here and tell you what not to do because obviously you're free to do whatever you choose. But my advice is don't make it simple, okay? Even if there is connection, even if there's history, doesn't matter. The person that you were or the person that you were dealing with in the past is no longer who they are now. A person is able to change and transform within a matter of hours, Right? Because you can go out like you're walking out of your house and you think it's a normal day and then something happens that completely transforms and changes your life forever. That's how we can change as well. So if you think that you're going to be getting the same person and you guys have been separated or broken up for like six months, seven months, a year, like they're no longer who you knew them to be and you're no longer who they knew you to be. So it's always giving, it's almost giving me the vibe of like wanting to give each other the opportunity. You guys go back and realize this is the reason why we broke up or this is the reason why we were so different or this is the why, this is a why of why it wasn't working out. Um, so instead of evolving, I feel you guys have evolved, but I feel like more than anything, the evolving is not necessarily on the same on the same playing field. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I do feel a disconnect. I, I felt a disconnect from the very beginning of the shuffling. So again, think about that, Leo. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on for Virgos here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of June, give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. In regards to love and romance for the month of June 2024. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, here we go, Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. There is, <clears throat> there is communication that's going to be opening up, Virgo. If you guys have been dealing with someone and recently communication has been off or they're, take, they're taking forever to text you back and you started kind of spiraling and thinking, that's going to be changing. I feel like they're... They've been focused on building. Uh, for some of them, it could be that they're like working overtime or it could be that they have a lot of things going on in their life that they're really trying to focus and they've been putting all their energy and trying to stabilize their life, okay? So when I say life, I mean like their living situation, their work situation, or the family dynamic situation. It's like they're almost being pulled towards different directions. However, that's... Uh, quickly going to be changing because I do feel like <clears throat> communication is going to finally open up and it's always going to feel like and I'm hearing for some of you guys you're going to feel like oh my god I was like freaking out for nothing because for some of you guys there's an apology or some type of explanation that comes through um, so yeah if you've been feeling like things are off or you guys haven't been able to be on the same page or you maybe even felt like you know they were kind of falling off and you're wondering you know are they interested? Are they, you know, wanting to work it out? I do see them coming back around and I do see communication progressing and bettering. Um, but I do feel like they went through a temporarily glitch where things seemed a little bit chaotic for them. And they were just trying to stabilize that area of their life, whether it was, like I said, work-wise or their living situation. For some, it could be that they're moving. It could be that... Um, the living situation just, you know, wasn't progressing the way they thought, or perhaps they had some type of falling out. Um, so that's where their attention and focus was. Okay. But I do see communication opening up and progressing for the better 
uh, for the weeks to come. Virgo. Okay, let's look at old flame or past love here. Wow, Virgo, we have the Empress, the King of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here in regards to how they feel about you, there is a realization that's happening, especially the, some of you guys, the, the ones that have recently broken up or separated and you're wanting to hear back from them. I do see them coming back around. I feel like they're realizing that you were you were everything that they hoped for or everything that they're looking for in a partner. It's almost the realization of like you were too good to be true. For some of you guys, this ending or this separation could have happened because they were immature. They didn't know how to appreciate you. And the reason for this, it's what they're showing me. It's almost like a defense mechanism. They have a tendency of doing this and they've done this in the past where they self-sabotage because they feel like when a person seems too good to be true, they have a tendency of instead of embracing that connection, they have a tendency of fucking it up. So that's what happened in this connection. I feel like they're realizing that and they will be coming back around and they will be trying to offer you some type of apology, some type of explanation. For others of you, they're trying to offer you, um, they're trying to offer you love and I feel like it's not guarded. I feel like there is an understanding, you know what, I've been doing this in the past Especially if you guys are dealing or have been dealing with an Aries, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But the reason I say Aries is because we are experiencing, you know, with um, Chiron that that's been in Aries, uh, Aries natives are currently having to deal or face uh, certain traumas or certain behaviors that they self-sabotage that instead of helping them they kind of fuck themselves over. And I feel like there's a realization of that. And that's the reason why they're like, you know what? I've done this in the past and I'm not going to let it happen again. I'm going to show or I'm going to prove to Virgo that I am deserving, that I am worthy. Whereas maybe in the past they thought that you were a little bit out of their league or perhaps that you deserved better. So they went out about to show you that you could do better by effing themselves over. Do you get what I'm saying? So I see them coming back around and I see them um, really trying to offer you um, whatever it was that your expectancy was from this connection. So the ball will be in your court ultimately, Virgo. Um, but I do feel like, and it's funny because the eclipses happened with um, Libra in the South Node and Aries in the North Node. So it's almost like realizing things that they've done in the past that they need to heal from, that they need to outgrow because that's becoming a self-sabotaging mechanism. And it's like looking at it directly in the face, as you can see here, the king looking towards the empress, realizing, you know what, maybe Virgo is too good to be true um, for me, but it doesn't mean that I'm not deserving of it. Because if I'm able to offer them and be everything that they want me to be, everything that I know I'm capable of doing, then ultimately it's not being too good to be true. It is that it is, you know, energy of reciprocation. So I feel like there's a step up here. There's someone that's stepping up. There's someone that's coming back around Virgo and will be putting in the effort to win you over again. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of June 2024, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, Libra, in regards to new love, we have the lovers. We have the Five of Swords and the Page of Swords. What happened, Libra? All right, so in regards to how they see you, there was definitely physical attraction. I feel like, unfortunately, in this connection, I feel like there was a lot of, a lot of it had to do with physical connection. So this could have been that you were the exact type that they looked for, and you or they are the exact type that you looked for. And in this process, you have a tendency of overlooking red flags. Why do I say that? In how they feel, they have the five of swords. So the Five of Swords is being so intense or heavy and passionate. 
it's almost like, you know, when you meet someone and you guys just have that chemistry and that connection, it's just like hot and heavy from the very beginning, just as quickly as it becomes toxic, uh, especially with the lovers and the five of swords. It's so like so intense that it becomes extremely toxic very quick. And in regards to the future actions, I do see them coming back around, but I feel like they're going to be stalking you for a while, Libra. And for some of you guys, you're already experiencing this. It's like they're not communicating with you or they're not texting you, but yet they're watching all your stories or they're watching they're watching you on social media, um, that type of energy. It's like they're keeping an eye on you. Why? Because there's a bad obsessive type of energy here, but it's like, when it comes to communication, they're all in their ego. They're all in their pride. They're all about like, oh, I'm the prize, not Libra. Um, you know, Libra thinks that they can, you know, um, pull a fast one on me, but it's not that. It has more to do with their insecurities and the fact that there's a lot of intensity in this connection. So again, if you are dealing with this type of energy, Libra, my advice is stay away from it, love. Honestly, like it's good to experience hot and heavy and intensity but when it's very intense from the very beginning it's not necessarily a good thing because it will in turn become very toxic um especially when the person is almost like very heavily into you meaning like there is the almost obsessive type of energy you know just by you looking at someone or going to you know i don't know get yourself some coffee or something and you go with them and you you know, just casually make eye contact with the person that's coming, you know, towards your direction and they automatically assume that you're flirting or that type of energy. That's what I'm getting here. So again, my advice is if you're already experiencing this, my advice is stay away from that energy or walk away from this connection um, because it can potentially become very toxic. All right. Moving on here in regards to old flame. We have the two of pentacles, the two of wands, and the ten of wands. I don't see them communicating with you, Libra. I don't see them reaching out to you, this old flame or this old ex. Um, but I do see them, you know, they will reminisce about you. They will think about you. But I feel like there's no, there's no action. And the reason for this is because this person doesn't even have, like, direction or a sense of direction. They don't know what they want at this point in time. Um... I feel like the hoping or wanting to hear from them is only keeping you from actually putting yourself out there and meeting a person that is worthy of your energy, Libra. Um, the two of pentacles is definitely a person that is very emotionally unstable, someone that, you know, is very good at double dealing or is very good with dealing with multiple people. The two of wands is like, yeah, you know, I miss Libra, but do I miss them enough to, you know, um, actually put effort in gaining their trust back? And they're like, nope, not going to do it. They're just, there's no communication there. Again, I would not be surprised if they are in fact watching you like on social media, seeing what's going on with you. But in regards to them taking any type of accountability or trying to come back into your life, I don't see that happening more so because... I feel like they have other options, other, they're, they have their eyes on, in other sites. You know what I mean? Like, if you are being watched on social media, like, don't get excited. Oh, you know, because they're thinking of me. No, it has more to do with, they, they still want to be on the loop of what's going on in your life, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's much weight to that, like, they're, they're missing you or anything like that. It's not. It's more about curiosity. Okay, so keep it pushing, Libra. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of June 2024, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. For some of you guys, you're going to be dealing or have been dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um... For some of you guys, there's a revelation that's coming through, uh, especially if you guys were dealing with someone that was kind of giving you the vibes that they weren't really looking for anything serious. Uh, recently, I'm being shown that there was their emotions were tested, Scorpio. Um, 
So what's coming to mind is almost like a person that tells you they don't know what they want. Well, they're not going to tell you that, but it's almost giving me the energy of like, you know what, Scorpio, I'm not necessarily really looking for anything serious. You could have liked them enough that you were like, okay, I'm going to overlook it. Maybe I'll change their mind. Um, but something recently happened where they had a re revelation um, because I feel them like throwing a bitch fit or almost like being bothered, uh, but not really being able to tell you anything because they know you can come back and be like, well, I thought you weren't looking for anything serious or kind of the energy of, you know, we're just friends, we're just hanging out, but let's not put no labels. But then they get bothered because you're going out with other friends or something and they can't really tell you that, that they're bothered because they don't want to give you that type of commitment. You get what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know what, what happened, um, but that's definitely what's coming through for some of you guys. All right, here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I already told you a reading, right? Without pulling the cards. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go. Seven of Wands, exactly what I just said. Seven of Wands, three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So they were guarded. They're extremely guarded. Um, they're probably playing the field or they thought they were going to be able to play the field. Three of Pentacles does indicate to me like getting to, because there's three people, it's almost like coming together in unison. But I feel like this extra person, right, that is standing right here, it's almost like they were guarded. But now they're in their feelings because they see you dealing with. Or perhaps for some of you guys, you've been surrounding yourself with friends or maybe posting online. Um, something rattled them recently and it made them realize the feelings that they have for you. So if you were dealing with someone that, like I said, almost gave you like the feeling of not knowing exactly where you stand with them or like, where is this going type of energy? I feel like there, there's going to be a conversation that comes up because now they're realizing that they do, in fact, have feelings for you. And they're not okay with you sh with them sharing you or they're not okay with you like just being a free bird and doing whatever you want um so yeah very much uh what i picked up when i was shuffling the cards all right let's see old flame here we have the seven of cups the four of swords and the king of wands well if you haven't heard from your ex or the person from your past is because their attention has been elsewhere They've been entertaining other opportunities and there was a lack of momentum or communication. If you do hear from them, Scorpio, the end of this month, I feel that the only reason why you're hearing from them is because they don't have a lot going on. So what I mean by that is they could have been in a position where they felt like they were hot stuff or hot shit, but then people out of nowhere started like just doing their own thing or perhaps they found someone better, right? Um kind of like that person, what they were trying to do. Um, and now realizing that they're trying to reach out or they're trying to come back around to see if you allow them to come back into your life. It's very much giving me the energy of the grass is greener, but then they find out it's not. And then they're wanting to come back around. So my advice, Scorpio, keep it pushing. Um, never put yourself in a position of being second choice. Although I know I don't need to be telling my Scorpios that, but... Those of you guys that do need to hear it, there you go. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the month of June 2024. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. I have about three new uh, tarot readings going up and they're just random. Um, what is the person thinking of you? Uh, who's coming towards you? And what you need to know. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'm going to be uh, uploading them back to back. Uh, we're going to be much more proactive on YouTube. I know I've been telling you guys that since I started my channel. Um, but I'm really focused and determined. We're kicking ass. Uh, you guys also stay tuned for my next podcast because we're going to be opening up and getting real with you guys in regards to things that are going on in my life and maybe we can relate and connect in certain aspects about life. So there we go. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. One more shuffle. Thank you, spirits. Here we go, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys. 
Sagittarius. Here we go. New love. We have the Two of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Death card. Okay, so if you were dealing with someone recently and out of nowhere there's no communication or perhaps they pulled back, the reason for that is because they're not necessarily or they didn't feel that they were necessarily ready to give you any type of commitment. Uh, they could have ran away from emotions or feelings, okay? Um, their future actions, the death card here, I feel like there is, for some of you guys, it could be also Plutonian energy. <clears throat> it's very much, they're in their feelings. I'm going to be honest. They're, they're in their feelings. So if there is a recent separation, recent breakup, or a recent, you don't know what happened. They just, it just went south real quick. Um, they're coming back around and I feel like the reason why they're doing that, let me pull one more. Yeah. So I feel like the reason why they're coming back around, they weren't being honest with themselves. It's almost like they tried really hard to keep their selves protected or to not get emotionally invested in you, even though they did. And that's the reason why they put an end to this or Maybe you're going through it right now and you're like, what the hell happened? They're not communicating. They're not reaching out. Like, and the reason for this is because they're not being honest with themselves. Um, and by not being honest with themselves, they're scared as shit of this connection. All right. I pull. Yeah. So they're scared of the connection that they feel for you, um, Sagittarius. And it's almost like they tried to bring an end. It's almost Okay, so for some of you guys, you're dealing with the person that needs a lot of healing, okay? The fact that I needed to pull out more cards just clarifies that for me. You're dealing with the person that needs to do a lot of healing. And one of their major issues, or if you yourself, Sagittarius, are wondering, like, what the hell is wrong with this person? It's almost like things are going good. As soon as it gets good, it's like they pull back and then they come back around and that type of energy. It's because they're not being honest with themselves. They need a lot of healing. And their primary trauma is abandonment issues. So they have a tendency of abandoning the situation before they are abandoned themselves. So what do I mean by this? Have you noticed that this person you're dealing with only pulls away when you guys have certain type of arguments or certain type of like confrontations that the moment they feel threatened or the moment they feel like you're going to get tired of it and just walk away, they're the ones to walk away or they're the ones to ghost you, or they're the ones to like not reach out until a few days later, that type of energy. And the reason for it is because they're not being honest with themselves, that they do in fact have feelings for you and that they need to heal this aspect to them. So do I see communication? Yes, I do see communication happening. However, Scorpio, I, sorry, Sagittarius, and for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Scorpio, um, but Sagittarius, if you are dealing with this, just remember, my loves, that you're nobody's mom or no one's dad, right? You want a person that is self-aware because we all have traumas. I don't care what people tell, like everyone has a trauma. Whether they've healed or not are two different things and a different subject, right? But everyone has traumas. When you're dealing with the person that's self-aware, they're putting in the effort to change or heal that aspect to them. But when you're dealing with the person that continuously keeps digging themselves a hole and get deeper and deeper and always expect you to like pull them out of that, like, no, that's not love. And especially for women, you have a tendency of getting emotionally invested in people that you feel like they need you. And it's not even about emotions. Sometimes you fall head over heels for them. The simple fact that you feel like they need you. So again, be mindful of that. And if this is something that is reoccurring, then it's time to put an end to that and walk away from that. However, if this is the first time they're doing this, then when they do reach out, you need to stand your ground, Sagittarius. You need to create boundaries and teach them, hey, this is not okay. It is not okay that whenever you feel threatened or whenever you feel like you don't want to deal with certain things for you to just go ghost and then come back around, that it's not okay. And I'm not used to that form of communication. Either your communication betters 
or there's the door. All right. All right. Now, past love. Here we go. We have the nine of pentacles, ten of swords, and the ace of cups. Okay, so when we're talking about the ex-partner Sagittarius or the person from your past, the nine of pentacles and how they feel about you, they're definitely understanding or for some of you guys, you could have recently gone through some type of glow up or you're taking care of yourself or you're doing much more better for yourself. They're realizing, they're realizing that you're moving on. And the reason that they realize that you're moving on is because they see you glowing or they see you proactively putting effort and energy towards you. So for some of you guys, you're working more. For others of you, you're stacking your money. For others of you guys, there could have been a recent glow up, like I said. You could have gone through some type of transformation. For some of you guys, there could have been some type of surgery that you did where you're looking fine and you know, that type of energy. And they're definitely realizing that, you know what, Sagittarius is moving on and I'm not okay with that. So I see them reaching out, but I see them reaching out only because you're doing better. So my advice is don't entertain that energy, Sagittarius. You deserve better. If it came to an end, there was a reason for it. Walk away, know your worth, know that you deserve better than to continuously keep dealing with something that continuously keeps hurting you. Do not allow a person to stab you in the back and then hand them or take the knife out and hand it over to them again because chances are they're going to stab you again, Sagittarius. So there you go. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Raising, Venus. I just seen the devil. <laughs> Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. If you guys are interested in any personal readings, the link on our Shopify is on the description box below for spell work. Our calendar is open now, so we are in fact um, scheduling for consultations and spell work as well. If you guys are interested in any of the journals or any of the manifestation books, you can find all of those links on there. Here we go, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go, Cappies. Let's see what's going on with my Capricorns. All right, in regards to new love, you have the Strength card, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you guys that you're dealing with a new person, you could have hit a rough patch recently. Um... <clears throat> I feel like you could have been dealing or can't, could possibly still be dealing with someone that is very prideful. To them, it's almost like emotions or vulnerability. I should say emotions. It's almost like emotions to them is a vulnerability. And it's something that they don't allow themselves to be or they don't allow themselves to embrace only because they are, you're basically dealing with a person that is on survival mode, Capricorn. What do I mean by this? Survival mode is a person that has a tendency of always thinking for themselves, putting themselves first and being selfish. Um, and it's not because they were born that way. It's because life made them that way. So you could potentially be dealing with someone that perhaps didn't know what love was growing up. There is a lot of instability and it's almost like they had to survive on instinct. So the moment that they felt the connection, it's almost like their defenses came up, the wall came up. However, I feel like if you are connecting with this message, what spirit is telling you is that in the next coming weeks, they're going to be opening up to you, Capricorn. They're going to, I feel for some of you guys, you're going to be surprised at the confessions that come from this person. It's almost like, they know that you're not going to be dealing with a person that is emotionally immature or a person that is not emotionally intelligent. Um, they know that you're about that business. So you could have created boundaries or for some of you guys, you could have been like, you know what, I'm, 
there's inconsistency and I'm just not going to deal with that. There was something that basically like stopped them on their tracks and made them like chin check themselves. And they're like, okay, hold up. You know, Capricorn is really making me be in my feelings. Uh, they could have potentially recently experienced some type of jealousy or some type of where they felt threatened, where they felt like, you know what, Capricorn's not going to be there sitting waiting for me. So what is it? Why am I feeling this way? And they literally sat themselves there and started analyzing, okay, well, you know, I see with Capricorn, I have these things in common. I see eye to eye with them on this, on that. Why am I running away from this connection? Why am I so scared? Why am I this? Why am I that? And they realized if they don't open up, they could potentially lose you. And that's something that they're just not willing to do. So I see them coming back around and actually putting effort. I see them coming back around and actually proving to you that they're willing to put in the work. And for some of you guys, there is making it official. There is, like I said, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be surprised um, because it's giving me very much the energy of, you know, I always thought this person to be stubborn or I always thought this person was very much selfish. Um, but they're realizing that, yes, I do have feelings for Capricorn and I'm willing to bet on them because I want to explore them further. So there you go, Capricorn. Now let's go to Old Flame. We have the Six of Pentacles. Whoa. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. All right. So I do see the person having remorse or regret Capricorn. I do see them wanting to offer you some type of or bring to you some type of offering. Um, how they feel about you. They still have emotions. They still have feelings for you. They still reminisce and think about you. Now, in regards to why they why they're feeling like maybe there could be something there, they could have recently reached out to you. For some of you guys, you could have recently reached or had recently communication with the ex-partner. Um, but I feel like you're coming to the realization that it's not what it was. And for some of you guys, it's you that is either rejecting them or you're no longer willing to embrace this connection. And in the past, this person could have had a habit of coming in and out of your life whenever they chose. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're just to the point where you're like, I'm done. I know what I deserve and I'm not going to be settling for like bread crumbing or anything like that. For some of you guys, you get up and dealing with the ex and maybe even sleeping with them. But then you realize, you know what? They're not really putting the effort of wanting to go back to a relation, an actual relationship. So you could have potentially walked away or decided to embrace other opportunities. There is a feeling of rejection here, but I feel like it has more to do with them. You rejecting them or you walking away from this because you're no longer interested in bread breadcrumbing. Um yeah, and it's very much like, it's very much giving me the energy of love bombing for some of you guys, um, especially if communication recently happened. It could have been like they were texting you 24-7, uh, really continuously communicating with you and telling you that they, you know, that they miss you, that they want to be with you type of energy but with the five of pentacles here in regards to their future actions i feel like they're gonna go back to their old behaviors so my advice capricorn is walk away from this connection you've outgrown it you know you deserve better you know you could do better my loves all right moving on let's see what's going on with aquarius aquarius sun moon rising venus for the month of june 2024 aquarius sun moon rising venus Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aqu oh, I opened this twice already. All right, Aquarius, I feel like for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are single, love is in the horizon for you, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. This is Jupiterian energy. Um, there's an indication of... A connection that is going to be coming into your life that is going to almost feel destined 
because it is. So there is a person that is specific to you, meaning your life path. Right now, what you're going through at this very moment in time, there is a person that's coming into your life that was destined to come into your life at this point in time, specifically. Yeah, it's giving me very much, very strong energy of destined or predestined connection. So for some of you guys, soulmate type of connection coming through. And it's going to give you very much the feeling of like it comes out of nowhere. Like you were not expecting it. Aquarius, you were not expecting this connection. It's almost like it happens accidental or accidentally. Uh, it could be as dramatic as literally bumping into each other at a social setting. For others of you, it could be slow in the making, meaning that it could be a person that you meet that comes out of nowhere or that is introduced to you or whatever, and you guys slowly but surely start to get close together start to come together. All right, here we go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2024. One more shuffle. Yeah, and it's coming at the cusp of an ending cycle for you, Aquarius. All right, here we go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I see you guys closing chapters. I see you guys closing chapters uh, when shuffling. I did see the Ten of Swords a few times. So I feel like this person is coming in when you are aware that there is an ending cycle or an ending connection with someone. I feel like it has more to do with cycles. So in regards to, and again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you haven't met this person. This person is just about to come into your life. Or you could have met them as recent as like a month, a month and a half ago. Um, in regards to new love, how they see you, Ace of Swords, they see you as a person that is very straightforward. Uh, they admire your intellect, your wisdom. Uh, in regards to how do they feel with the Justice card here, they're still making their decision in regards to are you guys a good fit or not. Um Seven of Wands is indicating to me, though, with the Justice card. I feel like this connection is. I feel like this connection is in connection with the reading that I was doing when I was shuffling. A lot of you guys, I feel like there is a connection that's coming in for you that is predestined. Um, but you could potentially be dealing with someone right now. Where. Things were going good and they were progressing. But it's almost like there is uncertainty in regards to how this person, even if I should say uncertainty in regards to if this person is even capable of opening up. Um, and in regards to their future actions, the seven of wands here, they're being guarded. So there could have been news. There could have been information that came through for them in regards to you or something about you that made them feel threatened because I feel like there's a lot to do with insecurity here. Um, if you do feel like, you know, your partner, the person you're dealing with recently started to kind of pull away, let things unfold. Don't try to force them right now, Aquarius, because I feel like for some of you guys, you're not even dealing with the person that you're going to be with. And you're going to know who this person is by the end of this year. So again, I did see the 10 of swords a few times when shuffling. So there's an ending cycle. It's almost like this person comes into your life right when there is something that's ending for you, but that you're capable of walking away from it. So this is giving me very much that vibe, especially with justice right at the center. It's like the balance of scales that's happening right now. So if there was a connection where you guys kind of hit a rough patch do not resist it. Do not fight it. Do, do not try to hold on to it. Do not try to chase them. Know your worth and stand in your power, Aquarius, because if this person is guarded and they're not willing to put in the effort, it's okay. Know you deserve better because there is better for you. All right. Okay. Moving on here. Aquarius, in regards to your past love or past flame, 
We have the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Moon card. Okay, so immediately when I seen the Four of Wands, I feel like you're going to be hearing from them. I feel like they're going to be reaching out. And they're going to want to come back into your life, Aquarius. But the advice here is do not believe them. Because I feel like they're already and have already been dealing with someone. They could potentially be in a relationship and they're trying to keep you as a side piece. Or they're trying to come back into your life in discreet, like dis discreet men. Or keeping it under wraps. Or only seeing each other at night. So again, I feel like this person is not being honest with you. If recently an ex reached out, I miss you, Aquarius. Oh my God, we should get back together. Or, oh my God, we should hang out. Hang out is the word that I'm hearing a lot. Okay, hang out. So they're telling you they want to hang out. It doesn't mean that they want to like pursue you. It just means that they want to see if they can sleep with you. Why? Because they're trying to keep what's going on in their life at this point in time hidden from you. And I'm seeing a relationship. So again, be careful with that, Aquarius. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to new love and old flame. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. All right, my loves. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here we go, Pisces. New love. We have the Magician, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Okay. Okay. I feel like the magician is coming up in the reverse position. So you could have potentially been dealing with someone that kind of sold you a dream or a person that wasn't being completely honest with you. This was a person that studied you, Pisces. This is a person that really paid attention to what you had to say so that they can figure you out. And the moment they figured you out is the moment that they started pulling away or that you didn't hear from them because they ghosted you because they're busy chasing other opportunities. However, they have a tendency of coming back around. Why? Because you're dealing with a gaslighter. You're dealing with a person that likes to play manipulation tactics. So if recently you found yourself in this connection and you often feel like you're the one that's chasing them because you can't pin them down, it it's not because they, you know, because it must be love. It's not because, oh, I have emotions for them. It's because they are playing psychological mind games with you that their absence, or I should say the greatness of their absence has a lot to do with the game they play, has a lot to do with that's how they keep people wanting them. They come to you and they love bomb you and they are everything that you are wanted or everything you told them because most <laughs> most people have a tendency of you know over speaking that they figure you out and the moment they figured your eye out Pisces it was like you know I'm every I present myself to Pisces as a person the perfect woman or the perfect man and then I completely ghost you and they leave you wondering and questioning what the fuck happened what went wrong Everything was going great. Like, what happened? Was it something I did? And that's just manipulation tactics. So my advice, Pisces, is walk away from this because you're dealing with a person that has a tendency and a pattern of doing this. And I assure you, you're not the only person that they're dealing with. And they are dealing with other people that they've done this to in the past. So it's almost like people keep dealing with their bullshit because they think that they keep coming back to them, but they keep going back to everyone that keeps putting up with that shit. All right, Pisces, sorry to be cutthroat, but better for you to know. All right, in regards to Old Flame, we have the Page of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Strength card. How they feel about you, Pisces, Page of Swords, I feel like they're stalking you, they're watching everything you're doing, or watching you on social media. Why do they feel this way? For some of you guys, you could have recently posted the new person you were dealing with. 
you could have recently posted pictures where you looked gorgeous <laughs> and as them wanting to come back around. I do see them communicating and I do see them taking action, but I feel like this is going to happen more so in the beginning of July for some of you. Um, with the strength card though, Pisces, be careful um, not to fall into like friends with benefits because if you allow them to go to towards that route, that's where they're going to keep that connection and they're not going to want to rebuild even though they're coming to you telling you they want to let's fix it let's work it out i feel like the moment you allow them to have you again is the moment that they will put you in that category make them work for it if you really want them and you really want them to take you seriously pisces make them work for it i always say you know when you're chewing gum and you spit it out, don't ever pick it from the ground and put it back in your mouth, right? That's how I think about exes, but to each their own. Um, if it is a person that you're wanting to get back with, you know, don't make it easy for them because if you do, they will put you in that position and you will not come out of that position. What do I mean by this? That they're going to keep you strictly physical while they're out chasing a serious or monogamous connection with someone that is going to you know, get their attention, kind of like a new toy, you know, um, don't let them put you in that category, Pisces. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with you guys. All right, here we go. Pisces. Oh, Aries, sorry. I said Pisces. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Pisces. All right, here we go. Aries. All right, we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Sun card. Whoa. Holy moly, guacamole. All right, Aries. I see communication happening, communication opening up for some of you guys. It could be that you will be experiencing the revelation of emotions. What do I mean by this? With the Ace of Swords being in the first card position, there could have been some communication blockages. For some of you guys, you could have been holding back your feelings. For others, you were dealing with someone that was holding back their feelings. Recently, I want to say the past two, three weeks, there could have been a revelation or they could have felt like, you know what? I'm really missing Aries. I'm really thinking about them. Like, why am I keeping these feelings to myself? I do not want to let them go. I do not want, I don't want to give someone else the opportunity of having them basically is what's coming through. So again, for some of you guys, it is a general reading for some of you Aries. This could be you. This could be you realizing, you know what? That person that I kept pushing away or that person that um, I thought I didn't have feelings for, why am I feeling all of a sudden these emotions? Why am I feeling jealousy? Why am I feeling wanting to be possessive over this person? It's like a realization of, yes, I do have feelings and yes, I want to move through with it. I want to have them. I want to take it to the next level. I want to make it official. Um, if you're dealing with a situation where there was blockage or communication blockages happening, you guys just didn't seem to be on the same page. I feel like as we progress into summer, into, you know, the end of June, the beginning of July, I feel like things start to pick up momentum where you guys realize there is a serious conversation that's going to be happening here, Aries. Um, and in this communication or in this opening up, I feel like revelations are going to be happening. And it's almost like everything you've been holding back, that person has been holding back. And you guys are finally able to like literally vomit feelings over each other and you're realizing you know what we what the fuck are we doing like let's stop playing games they like let's let's jump together you know let let's take it there let's make it happen let's see how far we can go and i see you guys being on the same page and like really picks up momentum and for a lot of you guys i see you guys being in a serious or committed or monogamous relationship around the month of or I should say around the end of July, beginning of August. But I feel like in this month, as we progress into July, I feel like there is 
a confession of emotions. And I feel like you're realizing like we were stupid. We we're holding back for so long or for a while. We were just like, I feel awkwardness around this connection. So again, what comes through is blockage of communication or perhaps like not being able to communicate correctly. Um, but I feel that with the Ace of Swords, it's like cutting through the bullshit and getting to the nitty gritty. And getting to the realization, yes, you know what, let's be honest with each other. Yes, we want a relationship. Let's move forward. And it's like striking luck because you guys become much more stronger, much more closer, and it picks up the pace. So beautiful energy here, Aries. All right, let's see. Old Flame. We have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Hermit here. Okay. So in regards to how they feel about you, Nine of Cups, there's still emotions there. There's still a desire or a feeling of wanting to work it out. Um, why they feel this way, the Page of Wands could have indicate that recently there was some type of emotion reaction uh, that they could have experienced. Uh, so what comes to mind is, as an example, um, you're still watching your ex-partner on social media and you see something or some type of post that they made or something in, like kind of cryptic that made you think it was about you, but then it made you doubt, is it about me or are they posting about someone else? Like, is there someone else in the picture type of energy? So I feel like that's what triggered them and that's what's kind of guiding them to reach out or what's giving them the push that they need to actually reach out and communicate with you. Um, I do see communication opening up. And again, I feel like this person hasn't moved on from you, Aries. Um, there is still hope and desire there to work it out. So I feel like the ball will definitely be on or in your court this month, my loves. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, we have a card popping out. All right. So there is some type of achievement, some type of celebration that's happening here. Okay. I'm going to put it back in the deck. Here we go. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I feel like for some of you guys, you're getting the news of pregnancy or someone in your family is being or getting pregnant and they're announcing this. If this is uh, you, that you've been very, very active. <laughs> if you're not trying to get pregnant, be careful, Taurus, because I do see some type of beautiful welcoming. But I feel like for some of you guys, it could come as a surprise. So just be mindful of that. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Taurus, you have the Eight of Cups, you have the Five of Wands, and you have the Chariot card here. Okay, so recently you could have, there could have been some type of argument, some type of falling out with the person you were dealing with, but I feel like as we progress towards the end of June, there's going to be communication that opens up. Here's the thing. What I'm seeing here with you guys is you're dealing with a person that has a lot, a lot of things in common with you. And it's almost like when they're bothered or when they are overly emotional, they have a tendency of reacting the way you do. And that's what's frustrating you, Taurus. So it's almost like you're, you, you guys are kind of mirroring each other. Um, and for some of you guys, you have avoidance. Um, you have avoidance tendencies. So either you have a habit of walking away when there is a confrontation that's happening instead of talking it out or working it out, you kind of shut down and you just walk away from the situation and they're doing the same thing or they have a tendency of doing the same thing. So it's like you guys are mirroring each other and it's what's creating a lot of frustration and a lot of animosity within the connection. Um, but I feel like all of this could be put to the side. All of this could be cut through. <clears throat> if you are able or if both of you are able to put the pettiness aside and actually learn to communicate. Because there is someone in this connection. I feel like it could be you, Taurus. There is someone in this connection that when you're pissed, you're pissed. 
and you just don't want to hear it. And maybe you have a tendency of doing that. Maybe you have a tendency of doing that in the past relationships. But what they're telling you is that at this point, you guys are both mirroring each other's energy. It's not that there's lack of love there, but I feel like it has more to do with when it comes to relationships, and this is something that came through very strongly right now. When it comes to relationships, it's not always about who's right. And both of you guys have a tendency of wanting to be right. And if that is the energy that you've been dealing with, I'm sorry to tell you, either you budge or they budge. If you guys really want the relationship to work. Because it's not always about who's right in a relationship. Sometimes we need to learn to take one for the team. And what I mean by that is sometimes we need to learn that it's not always about you having to be the one that's right. Sometimes you may not agree with what they you know, what they're saying or what they're wanting to do or whatever, but it's okay to disagree, but don't take it to the point where you get so offended because they don't have your perception or because they don't see the way you see things. You know what I mean? Like you guys are different and that's what partnerships are. And if it's something that up to this point in your life, you cannot put that to the side, then you need to walk away from this because you're dealing with someone that has a lot of your qualities and you guys mirror each other. If you guys are able to put that shit to the side and learn to actually communicate like adults should, then there is success here. But are you able to work on yourself in that aspect? And are they able to work on themselves in that aspect because not only you can do the work it, it takes two people to make it work i do see communication opening up i do see them you know wanting to continue pursuing this connection but i feel like and another thing make sure that this connection doesn't get toxic because sometimes people get off on just the toxicity of it because it's so intense and so passionate that it creates almost this allure to it but that's when we fall into toxicity so be careful with that, Taurus. All right. In regards to past person or past flame. Whoa. Three major arcanas. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, Taurus, is in regards to how they feel about you, they still see you. There's still an emotional connection to the past. And it's almost giving me like nostalgia. But I feel like. If you guys are hoping or wanting to hear back from them, I feel like you will be hearing back from them because they will be communicating with you, Taurus. But I feel like you have to be careful not to take it or not to be okay with settling with just fuck, fuck, you know, fuck buddy situation. And what I mean by that is they could give you or sell you the dream of, you know, um, maybe we can work it out. Maybe not. Let's see. But then they want to rush you into being physical. And if you fall for that, like, that's the only thing that they're going to be bringing to the table. Especially with the Hierophant and the Strength card, make sure that if you are dealing with this person already from your past and they are only texting you certain times, certain hours of the day, they kind of go missing or they ghost you and you don't hear from them. Be careful that this person is not in another relationship because for some of you guys, you could be dealing with someone that is potentially dealing with someone um sorry, I pulled out the ones that I had already pulled out. Let me pull out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so make sure that you're not dealing with someone that is already in a relationship. So if you haven't heard from your ex and all of a sudden he's hitting you up or she's hitting you up, they want to hang out, let's hang out, let's hang out, they're pressing the issue, you decide to hang out, you guys end up being physical, uh, and then you don't hear from them. The reason for it is because they're keeping something hidden, and it's probably that they're in a relationship already, <coughs> especially with the Seven of Cups, chasing fantasy or chasing fantasies right? Selling you a dream while being guarded and protecting something that they don't want you to know about. 
Hierophant here speaks to me about commitment. Um, and it's like realizing they know they had a commitment with you, but if you're willing to settle for something physical, that's only that's the only thing that they can give you. So be careful with that. <clears throat> um, make them work for it. I feel like that's a message that came up for a few readings, for a few signs. Um, yeah, make them work for it. Don't, you know, if you haven't dealt with them and all of a sudden they're kind of pressing the issue of hanging out with you and they want to take it to the physical without letting you know exactly what it is that they're wanting from this connection. Are we going to work it out? Are we moving forward? Are we getting back together type of energy? If they're just like putting that on the back burner and they're just like, let's see where it goes. Like, okay, then we'll see where it goes. And until we figure that out, you're not going to have me. Because if you remove this from the table, they're going to give you the commitment you want. This is only for those of you guys that want your ex back. Be careful with that, Taurus. All right, my loves. I hope you guys enjoyed the readings. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, bye.